Barry and Honey Sherman were murdered in their home four years ago, and now that homicide investigators have released a video showing a person who they believe is a suspect, in a year-end interview, Chief Raymer said he is hoping the public comes forward with some tips. This, by no means is this investigation over. There's a, still a, a lot of work that's being put into it. But we were at a stage where, you know, quite frankly, we were trying to identify this individual by a lot of means. So now, now we've put it out to the public. Mm -hmm. So now that individual knows that we put that information out to the public. So we waited this long because we needed the public's help. That video shows a person walking on a snowy sidewalk on December 13th, 2017, about 1.3 kilometers from the Sherman's home. Police have no idea who this person is, but they have identified them as a suspect. Now, they've gone through hours of security video from the area and have eliminated everyone except that one person. The Sherman family still offering $10 million for any information that leads to a break in this case. I applaud uh, Brendan for the, uh, uh, the uh, media uh, stand-up he did the other day with the information he did and all the work he and his team have done on this investigation. We have been able to eliminate the vast majority of people captured on the video. We are left with one individual whom we have been unable to identify. We are working very closely with the family to keep them informed, and those are the people that need to be informed of, of entirely of where we're at. Toronto police say they used every resource to try to figure out exactly who that person is, including getting help from the OPP and the FBI. Their investigation continues.